Good morning. My name is Harry Craighead, a bond servant of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we welcome you to the Feeding House Ministries, a teaching ministry that focuses on your soul and your eternal destination. Today we're going to talk about a person without God or divine faith, wicked, profane, having or acknowledging no God or deity. Have no, they have no respect for the true and living God. We're talking about the godless. Mm. A godless man, or so-called free-thinking believer, is a scoundrel mm. who permits himself everything. Without God as the center, at our center, life's pleasures and sorrows lead only to disillusionment. A man of knowledge that's either neglect or uncorrected can only grow wild and godless. And to take with us, the godless have no respect for the true and living God. Yes. Their thoughts and words are profane. They act in immoral and wicked ways. Yes. Taking all the biblical evidence into account, the term godless seems to describe someone or something that doesn't honor the one true God. Amen. In the Old Testament, godless manifests itself primarily in two ways. First, there are those like the nations who surrounded Israel. They may have been very religious, but they didn't know the one true God. Mm. Then there are those within Israel the nation of Israel, who should have known God, but acted as if they did not. So, they were godless as well. Yes. This may be the reason that the New King James translates the Hebrew word as hypocrite. Mm. Even though they had intellectual knowledge of the one true God, they didn't act like they had or knew that knowledge. Godless usually describes speech that dishonors, makes light of, or even mocks the serious things of God. Godless people naturally speak in godless ways, and the genuine believer must avoid all kinds of godless speech and attitudes. Amen. In a godless society, like the one in which we are living now, men still live like they're not godless. They have a form of godliness but they deny the power thereof, which is God himself. Yes. Ultimately, the problem is that people in this godless society want what we have as Christians, but they want it without God. Amen. In this godless society, they want peace, but without God, without turning from wickedness, they will never have peace. The Prince of Peace will come to this earth. Peace will come to this earth when the Prince of Peace arrives. Amen. They want love, but without God, they'll never have true love. Amen. They'll talk about it, and they may have as much as human love can have, but they will never have as much love as they want or need. Amen. They want success. The Bible says that success and prosperity come from meditating upon, speaking about, and doing all the words of God. Amen. Without these, they're helpless and hopeless to have anything more than success measured by the worldly standards, which is always insignificant. Yes. In this godless society, they want shared wealth. The, the biblical conditions of sharing wealth are salvation, steadfast adherence to God's holy word, fellowship with believers, prayer, reverential fear of God, continuing daily obedience, repentance, and glorifying God. Yes. They will never go for that because they hate God mm -hmm. and they hate his children. Jesus. They want health. For the true Christian, their health is secondary to the grace of God in their life. The reason is that we know that we're going to get a glorified body in yes. eternity. It's not that we neglect to take care of our health because we should. 
but we don't worship our body like those in this godless society do. The godless will never have what we have without Jesus. Amen. They want life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These so-called inalienable, inalienable rights aren't guaranteed to man here. Amen. Just think how these things are denied every single day. These things are available only from the Trinity. Life comes from Jesus, John 10.10. 10. Liberty comes from the Holy Spirit, 2 Corinthians 3.12. Happiness comes from God, Psalm 144.15. So, this godless society will have, will have to be content without these until they are willing to come to Christ. Amen. The godless person isn't a person who has no God, that is, that little G-God. For everyone has gods, including the atheists. Yeah. A god is simply that which a person elevates to a position of greatest importance and significance in their life. For some people, this is the one true God. And for others, some pagan God. And still for others, it may be family, wealth prestige, scientific materialism, or personal independence. Everyone has gods, mm -hmm. even the godless, but only genuine believers in Christ know and revere the one true God. He has revealed himself in Scripture, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.